Alright, hello everybody, this is Nick, once again from the ArcadeHunters.com, welcoming me to the one and only Little Shop of Games in Lutz, Florida. It is March the 2nd, 2023, and we're here once again to show you off a video of the lineup of games for sale and trade here at the Little Shop. So some games are for sale, some games are not. So um, here's the Baywatch that was just uh, traded in from the, the last video that you saw, it looked like the... Um, Last action hero that was here sold. Still have uh, the South Park here. And Marshall printed these out. These are not the official flyers yet, but they'll be getting them soon. Yes, for Foo Fighters! Uh, Gerard and I just did the um, podcast on it, so if you want to hear us gush about an hour of um, what Jack Danger has and his fine team have put together, definitely go check out that video. And they are um, taking orders for them. You can see how much... Uh, They've sold here, they sold those Bond 60th Anniversaries, uh, Judge Dredd, Rush, a whole bunch went out. So, get, I got here early before everybody else did. I'm off today, so why not? I uh, got a Ghostbusters, this looks like the premium one under here that has been sold. Um, this dialed in, this is the Collector's Edition, uh, I'm sorry, the Limited Edition, so I forget how, I think this is the, the middle tier one, but someone did a lot of love to this one. Looks really cool. I'm going to get a video of this because I don't think I have a really good video of Dialed In on camera yet, so it's going to be nice to play that again. You got uh, Melody Lane. Memory Lane is still here. Um, looks like Rocky uh, came back from uh, the previous owner. Spin over here. So we got uh, Metallica over here, currently not turned on. You got Aerosmith. Uh, that's the Pro Aerosmith over here. And what's really cool is we get to check out the first game that the man, the myth, the legend, George Gomez worked on. It's Corvette. And some uh, somebody definitely loved this game. They put a whole bunch of cool mods on it. Of course, you have to have extra toys on there. I always think of the most famous uh, Corvette pinball machine was at the um, Corvette Museum, and there was a giant sinkhole, and I think the <laughs> I think the machine ended up getting swallowed up in the sinkhole. I, I'm not, not sure if it was. I know one of, like, like a very rare car got sucked up in there and they kind of have it there so we got the star trek final voyage premium edition over here very nice this one's all set up now this was the one that was at marshall's house uh previously but now yes it's here and it is ready to go to another home so if you want to get one call up so we got star wars premium and of course it's got to play uh oh that's the jersey jack um intro so that's not going to get copyright flag we're okay so we got star wars premium this is the original version um they put the insider connected on the door we have in the avengers infinity quest this is the pro edition premium premiums and pros are coming back out in july um right now um the month of march is pretty much um exclusively almost for Foo Fighters. They're just getting out the um, collectors, or I'm sorry, the premium editions of Elvira, House of Horrors, and um, this Godzilla premium is one that just came off the line recently. Um, when I got here, they were just uh, shipping one out from the UPS man. Uh, over here we got Star Wars Mandalorian. This is the pro edition. Got to check out the uh, third season. First episode finally dropped on Disney Plus yesterday. Had a good time, but of course, way too short. It was only half an hour long, and I was just like, okay, uh, where's the rest of it? So, eagerly looking forward to next week. So, over here, we of course, we have both of Steve Ritchie's final games at Stern Pinball. We have Led Zeppelin, the Pro on the left, and then the Premium right here on the right. As you can see, it has that electric magic that re reaches up, and this one also has the extra express expression lighting kit that is on this. Uh, and they will be using it on Foo Fighters Limited and Premium, but unfortunately, they are not going to be using it on the Pro. As you can see here on the Pro, you can kind of see how it has this um, on there that they would be able to put a expression lighting kit in for Led Zeppelin, but considering that the ones really never came out for Rush, I'm definitely going to be putting it in uh, for my 
Foo Fighters Premium when that one comes out because I want to get that Express and Lighting kitting kit on there. I love Rush and getting to play the Rush at Marshall's home on the LE with the Expression Lighting Kit really makes a difference. It goes together so good with the music on there. It's not even funny. You'll hear there's a fan uh, running in the background. Uh, I'll turn around so you can see what that is. But first off, we got to show off James Bond Pro and Premium. Um, recently, there was a brand new code revision that everybody's been clamoring for. Yes, you can finally stack the modes. So uh, I'm going to do a video on the Pro of what it's like when you can actually stack modes and put stuff into multi-ball finally. So it's going to be a definite improvement over what the game already is. It's already, I have a whole ton of fun playing James Bond. I know a lot of folks really love the game. It's a lot of fun. So we got the two home models here. We got the Star Wars and we got the Jurassic Park from Jersey Jack. Oh, I'm sorry, from from Jack Danger, sorry, different different Jack. We got two Jacks in Pinball. So here we go, we got the two over here. And over here we got the Guns N' Roses Limited Edition, Toy Story Limited Edition, and also they wanted me to tell you guys that they do have one more Toy Story Collector's Edition um, that is ready to go. So if you guys are interested in getting the one of the last Collector's Editions, I really wish I got a video of it because... The topper on that was really cool, how they did the, um, kind of like the lighting on there. It was really nice. Um, turns out that, um, yes, the next game is going to be The Godfather, so they already have an interest list, so if you want to get on that interest list, um, Eric Mirner, um, the designer of Guns N' Roses, is on The Godfather, so check it out. They said it's going to have over 4,500 parts. So if you're wondering what that sound is... Yes, that is the Big Buck Hunter Reloaded. They have it on over here. So as you can see, um, shout-outs to my friend uh, Nick Lane over at the Buffalo Pinball who has one of this in his home. This is the smaller unit of Big Buck Hunter. As you can see, um, there's the price uh, for the game. And if you want to play the extra features, it's a $40 a month monthly subscription. As you can see, hey, there it is. Nick Lane right there, Buffalo Pinball. So you can see... The, if you want to do the online um, functionality, it lets you play on the on the worldwide leaderboards that they have, and it also gains you access to the other modes. I'm pretty sure if you don't have it um, connected to the internet, you only get like regular Big Buck Hunter. You don't really get like the the Terminator stuff and um, some of the other stuff like that. But some people rather play the regular Big Buck stuff. So there you go. So um, this. James Bond uh, Premium is for sale, and can finally show you uh, another video of John Carpenter's Halloween. This is, of course, the Collector's Edition. Very nice. Unfortunately, this is in for a customer. This is not for sale, so we will not be turning it on tonight. And then you can see, if you saw the video that I did of the Ultraman machine, you can see how it has... The Michael Myers hiding behind those bushes. I love that idea. It's really cool. Um, Scooby-Doo is getting hot off the presses. They're over for, for Spooky. Looking forward to uh, finally checking that one out because I think everybody loves Scooby-Doo. I'm a huge Scooby-Doo fan since I was a little kid. I can't wait to play it. You know, they got all the actors in the game. You know, the legendary Frank Walker. You can just hear how loud that... When it's in an arcade, you're not going to notice the, f the fans in there, but when you have it in an arcade, you know, it makes the, um, makes the, uh, the stern stuff sound, sound, uh, quiet. So we got Haunted Houses here, yes. New arrival, available soon. The bride has sold. The bride is going to a new home. So she's not on, she's going to another home. We got Ultraman Kaiju Rumble, yes, this is the CE. And 7899 if you want to get in on this one. Absolutely beautiful. They have a brand new um, code revision that just came out for it, so it adds even more stuff that they didn't have in the previous editions. So let's spin around one more time, show you off the other thing. Yes, we have Revenge from Mars. It's already on sale, $47.99. If you want it, I would definitely recommend that you call them up and make them an offer. We have Game on Hold, not for sale. Yes, the stern version of Pirates of the Caribbean. Another very beautiful game. Mr. Dennis Nordman, he is working on Galactic Tank Force. It's going to be the next game from American Pinball. We're looking forward to that. We got Spy Hunter. 
over here coming coming soon. This was a Printball Restorations here in Florida. The guy did a very good job on it because, like I said, you rarely ever get to see Spy Hunter at all in many places, so it's really cool to get to see it here. We have uh, Avatar is back. Five down. Five thousand. This is the LE, so this has the coveted Navi Ball that um, it's basically the ceramic power ball, and it makes the um, makes the gameplay faster. And it's double scoring on there. It also looks like they put in extra action figures on here. They had those Avatar action figures. I forget what the name of that is, but yes, I love the Banshee in the back of that. It really makes it and it has the cool color changing um, displays on there. So that's uh, Big Buck Hunter's uh, track music once again. It's not a game. They want you to play it, so let's play some music. It's very weird to see that uh, Rush Pro is not next to its brother, but hey, that's what happens to all the games here at Little Shop. Get used, don't get used to the lineup at any any of these places that I ever go to. Yeah, there's the new um, Dean Grover. They have a new memory of for him. So there you go. That's a look at the Little Shop of Games here of Lutz, Florida. Stern Pinball Alley. Make sure you check these guys out over on the internet. I'll always leave the the um, the link for them. So, as always, Nick from the Arcade Hunters, thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you guys next time. You all take care.